whatever, if you take me for a ride around the area kind of thing. But more often than not, if, if there was like a girl that I just met, I was trying to pick her up, and I'd say to her, yeah, I got a motorcycle, you want to go for a cruise, get some air? They wouldn't be, imp they might say yes, but they weren't impressed by the fact that I had a motorcycle. Girls really, girls in general don't seem to get motorcycles. And, uh, I'm not really sure I am right now. Oh, that was attractive girl. fully through the city right now. I guess I'm heading on towards Taipei. It's about time to turn around and head back now, I'm guessing. Taoyuan City seems to have much uh, better roads, much wider roads than Zhongli, that's for sure. Not sure why that is. Okay, that's a uh, one-way. lane changes into the opposite direction lane. Oh, this is the uh, the Taoyuan, it's a sports dome right here. You can see the lights up there. I don't know what kind of sports they play in Taiwan, but probably baseball. Baseball is uh, the main number one sport. Taiwan placed uh, third in like uh, world baseball one year, so they were, they were very, very, very proud of that. It's such a small country, and they beat out like, you know, like Spain and Argentina and all those kind of countries. I think they, they refer to this, uh, I think they call this sports dome the egg. It's not very imaginative. It's just called the egg because it's a dome, so it looks like an egg. So I think when you're like asking for directions to get here, you just say, I want to go to the Taoyuan egg. Uh, the best vet, veterinary that I found in Taiwan is right here. Um, he's not great, but he's the best I've found. And he's one of the very few vet veterinarians that has an x-ray machine in his office, so it's good for some things. So it's uh, December 23rd, tomorrow is Christmas Eve, and uh, Monday is Christmas Day. On Christmas Day, not only do I work, but we're having a Christmas pageant, which means I, which starts when I finish work, so I have to stay late. <laughs> so on Christmas Day, I work like nine hours when I normally work seven. It'll be like the longest day I've ever worked on Christmas Day. Some people kind of flip about that. They're like, I just refuse, and it's like, uh, I'm used to it. And I don't have any family or anything, so Christmas kind of lost its meaning to me a long time ago. You want to hear a sad story? I'll tell you it. I don't tell many sad stories in my videos. Um, uh, like, I remember, like, the first Christmas after my parents died, and uh, I bought a condo. Uh, I, got a, I got a little bit of insurance money, but not much. And I bought a condo. So, yeah, and then I had roommates, and my roommates, my roommates and my girlfriend at the time, they all invited me to their houses for Christmas, and I, I, I was uncomfortable with that, so I, I turned them all down for a couple of reasons. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I think it might make me more depressed seeing someone else with their family, you know? So I just, I just, I said no thanks. So then Christmas Day comes, and I'm home alone, when I normally have like three roommates, and I'm home alone, and there's no food in the house whatsoever. And I'm like, oh, that's okay, I can just go to, like, 7-Eleven or some, something, something will be open. So I go, I go around to the different 7-Elevens, they're all closed. I go to, like, McDonald's, it's closed. I go to, um, there's another restaurant near my house. It, it says right on the frickin' building, open seven days a week, 24 hours a day. It's got a big neon sign, and, and it was lit up when I went to, and they weren't open either. And then I was, like, <laughs> I was literally, like, starving, and, well, not starving, starving, but you know what I mean. 
and very, very hungry. And, and driving around in my car looking for anywhere, anything that I could eat, like any like convenience store or anything. And, uh, and I couldn't find anything. And on the radio was like Christmas music. So I was like driving around in my car, singing along to the Christmas music, crying and looking for somewhere to buy food. <laughs> Doesn't get much more pathetic than that.